Iloilo City is a first-class, highly urbanized city in the western Visayas region of the Philippines in the island of Panay. It is the capital city of the province of Iloilo. According to the 2020 census, Iloilo City has a population of 457,626 inhabitants with a 0.42% population annual growth rate. For the metropolitan area, the total population is 1,008,445 inhabitants. The occurrence of COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 brought several realizations and added responsibilities for the health and well-being of one another, including the vulnerability of human life. People are in quarantine, and worse, communities are on lockdown. Thousands lost their jobs as business closed. The services in family planning program implementation in barangays amid the lockdowns while balancing food security and environmental protection pose a great challenge among health workers. As a response in 2020, JPT Ediscape, a project for urban gardening and farming of the municipality, which aims to provide vegetable needs and augment the food availability of the communities during lockdown, piloted 12 participating barangays in the seven districts of the city. One of the objectives, of course, of JPT Ediscape is to address a malnutrition problem. Secondly, we also considered uh, barangays uh, that have low CPR in order to reach more with us. Its successful implementation led to the addition of 26 barangays participating in the second cycle in 2021. Women volunteer workers, barangay service point officers, and beneficiaries reap the fruits of their labor as they join hands and take humble steps towards women empowerment and noticeable increase in the number of women or couples reached on family planning acceptors. Thus, 37.61% contraceptive prevalence rate in 2019, 39.47% in 2020, and 43.15% in 2021, despite all the challenges brought about by the pandemic. So uh, in order to sustain that momentum yeah. and even increase, so um, we are, we are, um, we are uh, expanding the JPT and escape um, to additional barangays. During cycle three, 13 public schools served as project sites where women volunteers and WRA beneficiaries gather while working in the communal garden subsequently raising awareness on RPFP from the orientations given by population workers and BSPOs, including responsible parenting to achieve their desired number and spacing of children, and subsequently contribute to improving maternal, neonatal, and children health and nutrition. They were made aware on the importance and benefits of FP, both modern and natural. Kumukuha kami dito ng, ano, ng mga gulay, pinapakain sa mga anak namin, pagkatapos kinakain din namin. Tapos ma'am, sabi niya, di ba pinuturuan daw nila kayo? Oo, uh, uh, opo. No, may mga content doon, may mga pills. Ano yung mga sinasabi nila tungkol doon sa mga yun? Ang gumamit ng, ng, mga, ng, ng pills at saka kondom para hindi, hindi mabuntis, para hindi sunod-sunod yung mga anak. Bakit ba hindi maganda yung sunod-sunod yung mga anak? Na? Kasi, kasi sa kahirapan, mahirap pag maraming anak. Hindi mo, hindi mo papakain lahat. Masalamat ako sa nag-organize dito. Dahil, hindi dahil dito, hindi kami ma, masustentuhan yung pagpapakain pag, pag, sa so, pamilya namin. Sa, about po yung sa family planning po, every Saturday po, every best day namin po yun. Hindi po po kami lahat eh. Doon po yung dinidiscuss ng aming BSPO. Kung paano po gamitin ang, ano, ang mga um, PIOs. Paano po dito makatulong sa pabilihan nyo para po maiwasan po ang pagkasunod-sunod ng mga karoon ng anak ko. Siyempre, pag nagpapangit na rin po kasi kayo, parang malaking tulong po yun sa pamilya nyo eh. Bukas ay hindi ka kayo mag, ano, magkaanak agad kasi sa panahon ng pandil, sobrang hirap po talaga ng buhay eh. Pero sir, dapat, dapat mong sundin po ang sinasabi nila. Maraming maraming salamat po dahil doon po napalaki, napakalaking tulong po yun sa amin ng panahon ng pandilya po. Kung hindi po dahil sa kanila, siguro po maraming nagukuman. So, pero nung Nagkaroon po simula nagkaroon ng program ng ganun po. Mas gumaan po yung ano yung buhay po eh. Kasi hindi mo na kailangan pumunta ng palengke para bumili. Dito po kasi sa barangay, bukod sa nakatipid pa po kayo ng pamasahe at saka mababang presyo po ng gulay po. These intensive and innovative demand generation strategies generated the following. 
Verifiable results of this intervention are its notable impact of increased CPR and remarkable 162% or 10,715 individuals or couples served or referred to FP clinics in 2021. FP misconceptions were clarified and clearly understood after each dialogue with population workers and volunteers. The JPT Edescape project helped boost the accessibility of the RPFP services and improve the demand generation activities of the population workers and the Barangay Service Point Officer in the Barangays. An innovation in the service delivery of partner private clinics, CFC Birthing Center and IMAP during granular lockdowns in the Barangays. The family planning referrals of BSPOs were done through an innovation project called FP on Wheels, spearheaded by the midwives of CFC and IMAP Iloilo Chapter. The referred FP clients were visited personally and provided services such as medical consultations, counseling, peel and condom dispensing, injectables were done inside mobile clinics, while clinical methods such as IUD insertion, subdermal implants, or PSI were done in the clinic. I am uh, very proud of uh, our uh, department here because they have been very, very uh, adept in uh, uh, operationalizing the, the uh, objectives of uh, population management. I have been supportive of this uh, department. I believe that we really need to manage our population, otherwise it will be very difficult for cities, municipalities, provinces, and even for the whole country to take care of our population as it is growing very fast. Mm -hmm.